Don't, don't, don't convince her with a good time. Okay, Lupus, did you get your unit? Yes, I did. How much did you pay? $50. And are you excited about it? Yeah, it might be new, but it's okay. Okay. Because even if I sell the racks at $40 each, that's why I did the money back. Yeah, how many racks were there? There were two, right? Three good ones, and then one was like one of those flimsy ones that fall. So. Oh, okay. Plus the fold up tables. Two. Yeah. And I don't have to take the exercise equipment. Oh, that's, yeah, right. <laughs> He's like, that doesn't go. And I was like, oh, yes. <laughs> right, exactly. I was like, thank you. I don't want that. Nobody wants to buy that mm -hmm. stuff. And, and what kind of brand of clothing did you find in there? Or I you saw? I looked at it, but, I, but it looks like Macy's. Okay, so cool. But it's okay. People buy it. Five dollars. Five dollars. Okay. Yeah. Cool. For fifty bucks, it's not a bad buy. Probably be like, can I have? Can I have? Can I have? And I'm like, sure. Sounds like me. <laughs> awesome. Girly power. Good job. Do you want me to try to open this? Um. Whatever you want. Okay, Lupus. So you bought a storage unit. How much did you pay for your storage unit? Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. Oh, the only right. smart one here. Me and Dusty are idiots. We spend like four thousand, three thousand. We have to score hard just to hope to break even. Yeah, 50. but you guys are smart. That's why you guys have thick, nice vehicles, and I still have a not nice vehicle. Well, these racks right here, these foldable racks, like I usually get like 80 bucks a piece in a swap meet, so you got 240 bucks for these. They're like 99 to 129. But Let's like, not tell them I sold one for five dollars. You just sold one for five bucks? That's she sold a plastic one. one. I told oh, okay, her she okay. was too sweet. I would have sold it for at least ten bucks to fifteen dollars. <laughs> Well, Lupe is a nice I thing. was gonna keep it for the closet, but I was like, eh, one less thing to have Dusty carry for me. Because I didn't bring my van. Eh, that's what here. marriage is all about. Well, cool, because we went to the dump before here. We woke up like six. Mm. And we went to the dump, and it's like opposite direction. So I was like, I'm not gonna follow to the dump to follow here. That's like a lot. Well, you yeah. guys make so it cool. see, that's the life of a storage buyer. What'd we do? We went to go dump the trash before we go buy more. So I, I researched her. She had her own clothing company designer. So you guys see if you can get 20 minutes worth of stuff and we make a separate video. So it looks like, yeah, these are like her samples. So I've okay, so her look. shirt top, I guess her spaghetti so top. Then, is that the name? I, I think so. Which, sorry. Ruffle, detail, Ma Maddie. Oh look, everything has tags. Yeah, cause- Oh, I'm sorry guys. Like I'm all like her. looking at the tags. And then look, this one. I mean, they're cute, they're sellable, at least they're finished products, right? Like, they're not cut up and they were not sellable. But they're pretty basic. I mean, people like basic clothing. What are you, sweater? See, this brand is what everything is, CNC. Yeah. I think Leave in the comments, guys, if you know that brand. Have you, you ever shop? seen it? Is this like your... Where do you buy it at? Do you buy it at Macy's? I think when I, I saw it, like, this is cute. Yeah, that's the top. Does it and say so like the what year? is this? Top sample. See, so these are all samples, meaning I have the first one, and oh, you wow. guys buy them at the store. This was a sample. <laughs> nice. Okay, so a lot of this is gonna be that, I think. Just samples. But like I said, at least they're finished products. They're not like cut up in little pieces. So, sweaters. Cute tops that show your arms, dresses. I'm noticing oh, that a lot of cute. it is good fall and wear. So what's this tag? I think it's just oh. her tag. Does no it dress. have a price on it on the other side? No. It might no. be like oh. a showroom. Oh, and that's you know how cute. sometimes you go to a, a, a designer and then you see their product of, and say, I want 10 of these. Oh. I want five of these for my store. See, that's Maybe. why we're talking to Lupus. She's the clothing expert. Well, I'm, I'm guessing that's what it might be. So that's and what she lives this in LA, is. so she's closer to what's <laughs> happening. But these over here, I think these are the ones you said to your dressmaker or person that makes her clothing. Diane Ford, I don't know if that's like related to Tom Ford. Wow. Maybe that's it's exciting. the wife. I don't know. <laughs> she's like telling them, make me some pieces for my clothing room. But all of them say the same name, Diane Ford, unless that's the lady's name who owns this company. So what do we have in here? And like the samples. Is this um, linen? Or? Muslim? Mus is it Muslim? Something with an M. Uh, I, I don't know. But yeah, they're not that fancy. Oh, look how nice. They're just the samples, so I'm guessing the, they give them the picture of what they want. Then the person makes the sample, 
and then the next step would probably be the finished product where it's done and they approved it i mean this i don't i can't sell it but i mean it's still cool i can so use the hangers have, yeah right <laughs> so what do you have here you have i can't see i think this is a skirt skirt so like they'll probably make this in different colors yeah it says diane ford on there too it's written on the cover right mm -hmm. sorry i should google it we should take out my phone and Google this. Diane Ford. Yeah, why don't you Google it for me? Do you mind? Diane Ford. So while Who she... Who are you, Miss Diane Ford? While she Googles it, let's see what all these sample sets are. So there's the coat. It's interesting how the pieces are, guys. I've never seen it broken down like that. No, it has Measurements. It says Diane thing. Ford is a TV personality. I mean, this is a Diane Ford. Might not be the same person, but it was. She was an actress in the Home Improvement show. Oh. Um. But she also does stand-up comedy. But that does, it doesn't say clothing, so I don't know. Diane, Ford, Diane Ford. And then what was the other brand? C C and C. Yeah. We're... Maybe I could put the two. C. So then this looks like it's a different kind of blazer. Just to make sure you guys can see because I can't see. This. Wow, it's heavy. Yeah, I don't know. It's a blazer. I don't know. Maybe your, your friends On online top. might be able to tell you more. Maybe it's just the name of the piece. Sometimes they give them a name like this is Clarice. Clarice in yellow, um, Clarice in blue. All right, Chico's does that with their jewelry. Yeah, so I mean, but look, these are nice. Oh yeah, really nice. The feel, they're so soft. Oh, that's good quality. They're too. dreamy. So I mean, I definitely got pieces I could sell. They're nice. Oh yeah, that's nice. Yeah, they, that's a cool style right there. They are like modern, simple, everyday. Yeah, clean I lines. Like I like this one. With the See, collar. but this one tells you like. So this one, they're like, all right, let me show them what it could be in this color. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. See that, guys? It's a sample of two different colors. Mm hmm. Heather Gray. 31 and 78. So one's 31, one's 78. Okay, that's probably the color. So I'm really thinking that this might be from a showroom where the person yeah, see, that is, is owns the CNC California company had their products and different stores would come and be like, all right, or buyers for stores would be like, all right, give us 10 of these for fall or, and then that's how they make more products. But so these are all different cuts mm -hmm. of skirts. Yeah. Oh yeah. And then tops. Oh yeah. So this is what your clothing you buy on the store looks like before it goes to the store. Oh yeah, that's cool. This is the process. Well, it starts off probably with a drawing, and then it becomes a pattern, and then it becomes. I think it's Muslim, the the material. Um. And then they make it, and then if they decide what colors they want it, if they want it or not, then they sell it. That's really interesting to see how the process is. Mm -hmm. How did you get into clothing? Um, how did you get into this? So I started with one yard sale. I still remember. I put out a blanket. I was probably like seven years old. But I would really? go yard selling with my mom since I was, since I can remember thrift stores. But I put it out. This lady came and she's like, how much for everything? And at the time I was selling things for like a quarter, a dime, a nickel or whatever. So I was like, I don't know. And I looked at my mom and I was like, I think I said like $10 for the whole like blanket of stuff. And I sold it. And after that, I was like, oh, money. People buy stuff. <laughs> and then I just started going to estate sales in my bike, my rollerblades around town. But then in college, I started selling an antique mall. I would sell like, I had a pretty big space and I would have racks with clothes that I would buy. Like after I finished my classes, I go to thrift stores, buy pieces. And then I put it, or from storage buyers that were in town that would sell at like certain thrift stores, I just buy, set up my booth. But then I, when I moved here, finished college, then I started selling at the Rose Bowl. Oh yeah. And I Rose met Dusty, no, and then we started clothing. buying storages. So where did you grow up and start doing this at first? Where did you go to college? I went to. Well, I went to, at first it was um, 
College of the Sequoias. Okay, so, so you're I not grew a up Californian. North. Oh, okay, Northern I, California. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Small cool. little town, Lindsay, California. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, so. And Rose Bowl, we've sold there one time and we sold rugs and like I couldn't get over how much clothing there is. So people come all the way from Japan oh, yeah. to come out to buy clothing and they mm -hmm. send it by the bundles to Japan. Oh yeah. And they pay big bucks for vintage. That's pretty, how she knows so much. Yeah, I, I mean pre-COVID it was probably better. Now it's, I guess they have like direct lines where they have contacts and they could buy easier. But now I sell more like 2000s clothes, oh, Y2K, okay. 90s. It's what I've always liked. But and I should send you a picture of me when I used to volunteer at a thrift store when oh, I was yeah. in, in high school. And I'm dressing up my cousin because I and I always like vintage. I dressed her up with vintage clothes. Nice. And, yeah, and all the kids the, are into the 2000s now. Mm -hmm. Tatiana's into that. Yeah, yeah. So it's like stuff that I grew up with wearing and I've always liked anyways. So I was like, oh, okay. So I knew this was modern. I didn't, it wasn't going to be vintage, but it's sellable. Yeah, exactly. And the racks. I the racks. Them. Yeah, because see, they have double feet. So if you guys ever buy a rack, see how there's two bars right here? If you're ever selling anything, always get the two bars because then it's more sturdy. And, and trust me, it's going to save you. Always have the right equipment. And, and people will pay top dollar for it too if you see it, buy yeah, it, I mean, sell it. Let go, 50 bucks, 40 bucks. Your husband said he sells them for eighty dollars. Yeah, eighty. We used to sell them in our store for seventy nine ninety nine because we pay a hundred dollars for them, and that was like when we first opened our store. That was like I don't know what 15, 16 years ago. Too long ago. <laughs> and but then even you, like the hangers too. Like I can use hangers. I can use the racks. I can use the tables. So oh I, yeah, I, I the told tables Dusty, too. I probably would only go one fifty on it. So I was like, I, I can't go more than that because yeah. I know the clothes is modern. And, and what is this? Is this um, this here? Is that a textile or is it? Yeah, it fabric. It might be what they use. I, I need to look it up. Maybe I'm saying this wrong, but I think it's muslin, and I think that's what they use to make the patterns. Like this, oh, okay. The material. Oh, so cool. my mom likes making clothes and stuff, so I'll give it to her. She'll use it. Cause they'll probably give me I don't know thirty dollars for it. I think you're too cheap. <laughs> I, I think I need to give you a lesson on selling from Please bigger do. box. I, do sell cheap. <laughs> yeah, because that in our store, depending on what the color is, because let's see how maybe much like the weight is. Bucks, oh, yeah. Yeah, I would say at least $60, depending on the color. That's a good one that my mom would like. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Is, this is there weight could... to that? Oh, yeah, there's weight. It's nice. Because this is what off. they use for the patterns. Yeah. So she can cut up a pattern. She wants to make jackets. She likes making jackets. So. Yeah, that's one thing I learned in the store is that fabric and all kinds of sewing stuff goes for big money. Oh, it's like, expensive. Don't Joanne's, undervalue it because it's Joanne's super expensive. Yeah. But it's, the good thing about a thrift store is you get a lot of people at the Swami. It's just whoever's there and whatever they want to give you. And then I want to haul it back. <laughs> yeah. So if there's anything you could teach our viewers about buying and selling with clothing, is there any tips or tricks that you have? I got distracted. This is men's clothing. Yeah. Whoa, look. 125. Oh my god. Why? At Venice? Made in Peru? Oh, because cotton, cotton has gone up since I think the pandemic. There's, um, my mom says it's really hard to find 100% cotton. Look. Oh, Kenneth Cole. Well, okay, well, these are $22, but still. Another one of those supposedly expensive ones, $75. This will probably tell us that somebody was looks like an order sheet they want a certain amount 39 to one oh wow like, what else you got teach? in there see what you can sell that's what dusty taught me always see pitching what, what other see. people are selling yeah. that's how we got into this business was seeing that the swap meet buyers were making big money well i would just buy from them right Sample. Well, we used to buy from them too, but then they started getting wise and started making it more expensive and they started selling on eBay. So then we just got into the business ourselves. So sample for size checking will make correct color in production. So I'm guessing this one was just so they could see like the size of it maybe. I think that one's really cool. So it's supposed to be a medium. It looks like a medium. Yeah. And then they're like, Color, I guess per color might not have been this color, but people like this color, like a faded out color. 
But there's other brands, so I'm not sure it was all the same look. Cake and Roses. CNC. Kathleen. Yeah, Cake. Oh, Cake. Maybe she had three brands. Cake and Roses. I don't know. Eliza. Strapless Dress. It's cute. Mm -hmm. I'd wear that. But uh, that's what I mean. I think they're just like samples. Because that's why there's one of each, and then there's a few that have two. This style, and then this style. This one's nice. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, they're both nice. They're really cute. And the good thing is that they're not dirty with stains, or they don't smell like rats. <laughs> I have right. to go wash it. That's what I have to do a lot, is go wash them. And that takes me longer to wash. But it looks like this side was men, so maybe somebody else got racks of more men clothing. This is men's, 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 men's. Yeah. Cool. So when you sell this, how much are you going to sell each piece for? I'll try for $10. There you go. Always start <laughs> high. You can work yeah. your way down. Start at 10 and then by a certain time in the day, just go five. <laughs> awesome. It's been so great talking to you. Awesome. Bye.